everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to Christmas in July. And not only is it Christmas in July, but it's pink and gold Christmas in July. <laughs> I guess the reason behind this is I had this really, really cool pink and gold paper pad that was all Christmassy and I like wanted to use it up. So I'm using that paper pad for all of my projects that I'm doing for Christmas in July. <laughs> anyway, having so much fun crafting with it. So that's where the pink and gold comes in. But my, my hope for these projects that I'm pushing out for Christmas in July is to give you, you know, some fun ideas that you can get started on, that you can get made and ready. So when, you know, the rush of the holiday season comes around, you can just hand out your cute little, you know, favors, little gifts, just some quick and fast cute little treat things or gift card options that will make it easier to get done now to help you when it gets real busy around the holidays. So look at this cute little treat holder that we're making today. Once again, the pink and gold theme, which I think is so cute. And anyway, what I'm using is I'm just using these treat bags. They're called zipper seal treat bags from the Dollar Tree. And you know, they're a little bit big. So once I filled them with the cute kisses, I actually folded them in half and I'll show you that as we go to make them. But I got all of these little cute little sacks for slightly over a dollar, which made this project very uh, economical, very cost worthy. So look how cute. I mean, this would be great if you were trying to get things ready for a craft fair, um, a cute stocking stuffer, some neighbor gifts, but I think that just looks so cute as a fun little treat to hand out to friends. Anyway, so let's get started. Just jump right in. I'm gonna scoot these over. And what you want to start out with is a piece of paper that measures four and a half by seven and a half. Okay, four and a half by seven and a half. And I'm gonna make three quick ones just to show you how fast this all comes together. So for the matting pieces, and that would be this, this, and you see that little piece back behind? Let me give you measurements for all of that. So the matting piece, which is the piece that goes back behind here, is four and a fourth by three and three fourths. So you would need one of those. I'm actually making three, but four and a fourth by three and three fourths. Uh, this piece right up here, which is kind of like the topper of it all, this piece is measuring four and a fourth by one and a fourth, okay? And then, you know, you could certainly just measure this on your own, but this little piece coming in right here at the bottom is three-fourths of an inch by four and a fourth. So anyway, if that helps as far as matting, um, th there you go. So let's go ahead, get started, and I'll show you how we are going to score this. It's super simple, guys, super, super, super simple. But let's go ahead and take our base piece. Once again, this base piece is coming in at four and a half by seven and a half. And on the seven and a half inch side, you want to score it at one, at two, and at six. That's it. <laughs> okay, I love it when it's simple. Okay, bringing in a second one, scoring it at one, at two, and at six. And then our third little treat bag, one, two, and six. And you'll see how, you can kind of see how this is gonna come together. Let me just fold all these over and score. So that's, that's the bottom where the little treat kind of sits and that folds over the top. Okay, so you're looking at this. Okay, let me just fold all my other ones and I'll show you how I assembled it. Now there's probably a couple different ways, but you know, so far I put together about six of these and yeah, they were so stinking super simple. Okay, so there's my three. What I did is I just took one of those bags and like I said, I just got them from the Dollar Tree and I filled them up with kisses. And you know, you can gauge as to how many you want um, just so it's going to kind of sit down in there. Now, before you do that, let's go ahead and add our matte pieces. That will make it a little bit simpler. 
So let me figure out how I want to do this. I feel like I'm dealing cards. Deal a card, any card. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to add my mats in first, get that part done. Yeah, you know, you kind of can do this assembly style if you were trying to make a whole bunch. Just get everything cut and then layer everything on. Look at that gold. Oh my gosh, I love paper that comes with foil. Love it, love it, love it. And I know that this actual paper pack was from Michael's, but I did get it a couple years ago. But I just know that a lot of times that you get those paper packs from Michael's, they do come with foil, which is, oh, my favorite. I think it just adds, you know, a little bit of bling. Even this piece, can you see the gold foil that says Jingle Bells? Oh, I love it. What, when you guys buy those paper packs, what's your favorite? Do you like, you know, you, sometimes they come with glitter paper, um, foil. I'm just a fan of foil paper. Okay, so we're getting everything down. Let me just do this last one. Once again, we're using pink for Christmas in July, pink and gold. <laughs> Love it. So have you guys even started thinking about crafting for Christmas? Some people are like, heck no, you know, out enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> but I do think, well, the reason I do this is to kind of help you so when it does get to be Christmas and crunch time, you're not freaking out. Maybe you're not one to freak out. I'm one to freak out because I want everything to be organized and done and I hate the stress of when, you know, you're racing around like a chicken with its head cut off. Is that a good analogy? <laughs> anyway, look how cute that is. Merry Christmas just in pink and we'll set that on the top. Trying to line it on there even, so give me just a sec. There we go. Yeah, just simple and easy and cute and oh, can't, I can't say enough. Fun, fast projects. I just uh, printed this Merry Christmas out on my, with my printer and sized it down so it would fit on this project just nicely. There we go. Okay, last one. I'm just layering this on to some gold foil. I found this gold foil also at Michael's. Uh, they have a gold foil, they have a silver foil, and they have an iridescent foil. And I have to tell you, oh my goodness, I love that iridescent. But um, let me just give you a little tip. If you're looking to buy more than like one or two paper packs, um, of the same thing, so like this gold foil. If you buy this gold foil, you can usually at Michael's get like buy one, get one half off. And I think these run $6.99 for about 25 uh, foils paper. But you know, if you get buy one, get one half off, that helps to cut down the, crop, the cost. But if you really like gold foil, which is like, I like gold foil, you can go in, Michael's now has something, I'm trying to think what it's called. I think it's called, oh, bulk buying or something. Maybe it's not bulk buying, but check into it. It's where you can buy, I think I got 12 packs of these papers and it's by buying them by bulk on the Michael's website. Now you can't do it in store, but you certainly can order it online. And it takes these paper packs, so the 25 pack of foil paper, down to 288 and that, oh, crazy awesome. So how can you not take advantage of that unless you don't want like 12, you know, packs of gold foil. But for me, that was the way to do it because I, I like the gold foil. So just kind of keep that in mind if you're shopping at Michael's. Um, once again, you would have to do, to get that deal, you do have to do it online. Okay, back to this. So here, I've just used those baggies. They came in kind of big, so I'm just actually folding them over and then I will be just sitting them in there. Now, one thing I did find that really, really helps with this project is 
when putting these in our little holder, I found this specialty tape to be amazing because it's it's extreme double-sided tape. It's called red thin thin. I think it's called red thin line tape on at Amazon. But this is like this will hold your stuff like no other. And you know you want this to stick in there. So that's what I'm using to actually put the little kisses down inside. I'm just tearing off a piece of this and I'm laying it on the back of my little folder. I'm also going to put some to hook this onto that. Just a thin piece. So I'm going to put that on there and then hook these two together. The hardest part is um, trying to pull that off. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, so I'm just going to take my bag. I've already got the tape on and fold that in half. Okay, now here is another piece of that really good thin line tape. Once again, because the kisses make it a little bit heavier, I wanted to use more of a stronger tape. Does that make sense? Because I don't want these little kisses to fall out. Now, I don't know. Watch, I won't be able to get this pulled off. Nope, I can. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I've got that super, super, super sticky tape. And I'm going to put this in here and just kind of, I want it to kind of rest on the bottom. So I'm folding up the bottom and then pushing that super sticky tape down. Oh yeah, that works good. And then I'm also going to add some of this uh, red line sticky tape onto the top of this. So when it folds over, it holds to this. Does that make sense? Okay. I need to actually lift it up a little bit. So I'm going to put another piece down. When I discovered this tape, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. Have you guys used the thin red line tape? Um, I will, let me search it out and I will get you a link at the bottom of this if you're looking to try it out. Okay, so I'm going to fold that over and then fold that up. I'm going to put a little piece right here. And then fold that up. Look how cute that is, so simple. Now, what are we gonna do to tie it all together? I bet you guys already know. <laughs> I have made some bows. I'm gonna stick my gold bow on there. Let me lift it up. And there, look how cute that is. So stinking simple and adorable. I love how I put a little bit of silver kisses in with this one. I wanted to see what it looked like, but I love how the gold kind of pulls the gold out. And then we've got our two other bases. But let me bring in the ones that I've already made. There, there, and there. The different colored cute pink and gold papers. Oh my gosh, love it, love it, love it. So what do you think? Uh, do you give this project a thumbs up? Well, if so, give me a thumbs up and let me know, you know, if you try this, I'd love to know how it turns out for you. But oh my goodness, so cute. So thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really do appreciate all of your support. I hope you're having fun with Christmas in July. Well, as much fun as I'm having doing the projects. Anyway, go have yourself a fun crafting day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.